Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this video in one go, so if I stumble over my words moving forward, so I apologise about that. And also, if the quality of this video is fairly poor as well, if there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it cannot be helped, and hopefully it is not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision 2022 related video here on my channel, and another sort of reaction video as well, because it is time to check out snippets of the songs involved on Night 2 of the San Remo Music Festival. Now, of course, San Remo is not strictly speaking a national final, but it just so happens that more often than not, the winner of this prestigious long-running festival, which is older than Eurovision itself, usually goes on to represent Italy in the competition in May. And of course, there is perhaps even more buzz surrounding San Remo this year, because of course Eurovision is in Italy a few months from now in Turin. With regards to last night, night one, 12 acts took to the stage, and we now know that uh, Mahmoud and Blanco came out on top. Mahmoud, of course, the 2019 representative. Brividi emerging as a bit of a fan favourite already. That was the winner, based on three press jury votes. Uh, in terms of the exact results, we don't know that yet, and I'm not sure when we are going to know that, but we know that overall, Brividi came out on top. La Representante di Lista finished second with Ciao Ciao, and Dargen D'Amico was third. Tonight, 13 acts took to the stage, and as I'm recording this, we do know the results. Elisa, a huge name who has won this festival before, came out on top. Emma, the 2014 representative, was second, and third went to Ditonella Piaggia and Donatella Retore. We also know the overall ranking of the songs by these press jury votes. Elisa won it overall, Mahmoud and Blanco second, and Chow Chow third. Now what I've seen online over the past half an hour or so as I'm recording this, a lot of people are very disappointed. Uh, some are disappointed with the overall quality of this year's San Remo. Uh, some people are very disappointed in the results. And a lot of people are saying that they will be disappointed with the winner of San Remo this weekend. Um, of course, a lot can change before then. Tomorrow night, all of the songs will be performed by everybody, and the public can have their say. But every performance matters, because on the final night, uh, obviously the top three go through to a super final, but they'll only get there based on public results and the sum with the previous results. So everything matters right from the very start. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble. I've heard nothing uh, regarding tonight's songs, or rather last night's songs, because it is now the 3rd of February. So I've got a couple of videos here. I'm going to be watching Juanini and their top 25, but only focusing on those songs involved on night two. And as these will be very short snippets, I've also got a video by Just Me Ricky and ESC Matt ready to go. The videos I'm watching won't be in the bottom corner of the video you're watching, that's the way it usually is. Let me know your thoughts, especially if you are Italian, and I am going to make a note of songs that stand out to me as we go along. So, let's begin. Right. Just focusing on the songs from night two. So, not that, not that, not that. Aha! So, this one here is Giovanni Truppi with Tuo Padre, Mia Madre, Lucia. My dad, my mum, Lucia. And coming into San Remo, I know that this one was getting some very positive reviews, but I don't think fans really love it. At least the few comments I've seen online. Let me give it a listen. A bald guy. Guitar. Hmm. Uh, I will have to listen to these many times, and trust me, I will listen to these songs in full very soon. Uh, this is a very gentle, uh, almost nostalgic sort of track. It's giving me that sort of nostalgia vibe quite emotionally charged, sounds great with the orchestra, um, but it's one of those songs that you just immediately know might get lost in the mix, and if it went to Eurovision, I don't know whether it would stand out enough. I'm thinking ahead to the Turin stage. 
Uh, next, we have... Not that. Aha! Eva Zaniki, who's been at Eurovision before, back in the late 60s. She's now in her 80s. Volio Amarti. Great voice. Red colour scheme again. Okay. Very powerful. She's in a black outfit. Very sparkly. Yeah, she sounds really good. Very low key. It's got that sort of classic feel to it. And as such, you could say maybe that it's a bit old-fashioned, a bit dated. But that sounded okay, but I don't think it's winning material. Uh, next up, let me just skip forwards here. Oh, next up's a bit of rock. Le Vibrazioni with Tantissimo. Hmm. Okay. Sounds a little bit like U2. Lead singer's got a great beard. It's got a quite a nice beat. Du, 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 du. Uh, not bad. I'll make a note of it because it certainly jumped out at me. But that maybe that's just because it's a rock song, you know. Uh, next is Matteo Romano with Virale. Okay. Young guy. Sort of mid-tempo. Voice is okay. Feels as though it's building in this clip. I don't know. Um, that's not really jumping out at me, I'll be totally honest. Okay, next is Elisa. Now, this is interesting because I have checked out a few videos already but had them on mute, so I haven't heard a thing. But Elisa, despite being the overall number one at the moment with the press juries, it seems as though fans aren't quite as hot on her song. Interesting. This is... what's the name of her track? Uh, o Forse Se Tu. Big star. Hmm. White dress. Do you know what it is? We have a lot of songs like this in San Remo every year, and the best way that I can describe it is subtle power. You know, we have a lot of songs that do feel very powerful and perhaps pack a bit of a punch, but it's not always really in your face. It's quite reserved. It's subtle. It's gentle. It's nuanced. And I'm immediately getting that feel with Elise's track, and I can absolutely understand why it's the number one at the moment. I mean... Oh yeah, I think I'm really going to like that. Definitely going to check out the whole thing. Uh, next is Tananai with Sesso Occasionale. Oh. Not too sure if I like the style of his voice. This is a little bit disco. Slightly 70s. Dressed very casually. I mean, yeah, you can have a little bit of a shimmy to it. That wasn't too bad. Uh, then we have to skip forwards a bit to not that song. Um, not that song either. Okay, Emma. Another contender, perhaps, with Ogni Volta e Così. Very classy black dress. Oh. Hmm, it sounds okay. I really don't know what else to say here. Um, sort of a mid-tempo ballad type track. Yeah, I mean, it's not standing out as much as Elisa straight away. Uh, next up is Ditonella Piaggia and Donatello Retore with Chimica. 
Okay. Whoa. Look at that hair. Very Brian May. Oh. Kimika. Kimika. Du, 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 du. Oh, I say. Love her outfit with the sort of red... I don't think it's a poppy, but this big red flower. This is very different. It's quite playful and cheeky. Kimika. Ki -ki -ki oh, yeah. I'm writing that down. Uh, purely because it sounds very catchy indeed, and that's going to get stuck in my head. Next, High Snob and Who with Abi Kuratite. Okay, this is very stripped back. Can't hear his voice, but she sounds great. Uh, that sounded mildly promising, purely uh, in this case because her voice sounded very good. Then we have Fabrizio Moro, one half of the 2018 representatives for Italy. And his song is Say Tu. This is a ballad. Ooh, his voice sounds great. Sounds very nice. Very simplistic. Maybe too simplistic. But we know that he can deliver. Next up is Irama, uh, who's been involved before with Ovunque Sarai. This is low key as well. There is nothing truly high impact. Like the violins. Yeah, that's a very reserved sort of track as well. Uh, I'm adding him to the list. Got to be honest, it didn't sound too bad. Then we have AKA7 with Perfetta Cosi. Not too sure about his suit. Oh, okay. This does have a bit of a beat to it. Yes. Ah. I was just getting into that. Seems quite cheerful um, and upbeat, which I can appreciate. So he's going on the list as well. That might be it. Oh, no. We have San Giovanni with Farfalle. Microphone very close to his mouth. Oh, that sounds very nice. Very nice. But he didn't get a great result, did he? Let me listen to that again. Almost fairy tale. Not bad at all. So, I'm well aware that this video is a complete mess, but I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight names written down here Le Vibrazioni, Elisa, um, Ditonella Piaggia, and Donatella. Uh, Hi Snob and Who, Fabrizio Moro, Irama, aka Seven, and San Giovanni. And yesterday I liked Noemi, Ciao Ciao, uh, Michele Bravi was okay, Mahmoud and Blanco absolutely, and Dargin D'Amico. They were my favourites. Having listened to snippets of all of the songs now, and some in full, I think the weakest song, honestly, it is probably Human with Ora e Qui, in my personal opinion. Now, the full list, Anna Mena is 25th at the moment. <whistles> Obviously Spanish, and she is rock bottom, which is very interesting, because I think a lot of people really like her song. But having seen it and listened to it, I can't say I'm surprised. Um, Levi Brazioni are well down. They're not coming anywhere. AKA 7, 21st. Um, Achille Lauro, 16th. Yeah, I expected as much. San Giovanni 13th. Ooh, dearie me. Yes, yes, yes. I have to say, Gianni Morandi's song, fine. Fifth is a little generous. Um, Kimika sounds very promising. Absolutely. Going to check that out very soon. But I think it's brevity or bust. If Italy want to get a really decent result this year, 
it's got to be that one, really, because nothing else is cutting the mustard uh, at this current stage. Do let me know what you think. Now, I'm just going to check out here, uh, because I did say that I was going to. Just Me Ricky. This is their ranking of Night 2 songs only. Giovanni Truppi. Yes. This just sounds very touching indeed. I can appreciate it. Le Vibrazioni. I mean, this is just fairly generic rock, perhaps. Mm. Oh, Kimika is number 11. Mm. It's one of those tracks that has a very catchy refrain from the sounds of it, but will it get irritating quickly? I don't know. Oh, Tananai, yes. Yeah, his voice. I mean, yeah, still fine. Fabrizio. Yeah, this is lovely. Sounds lovely. If he wins, I'm fine with it. Eva. Great voice. No doubt about it. Very classic in style. Then Emma Marone. Mm, sounds all right, yes. Elisa. The favourite now, surely. Yeah, big star, big star. Oh, Farfalle. This is a different clip, so it's more upbeat. Still sounds all right, though. Perfetta così. This sounds quite promising, but he's nowhere. His chances are shot to pieces already. Matteo Romano. This is alright, but there's better songs. Irama. Do you know what this reminds me of? Felix Sandman in Melfest the other year. That's what it reminds me of. It sounds very good. If he wins, I'm fine with it. Hi, Snub and Who. His voice is quite quiet, but it sounds all right. Well, what a massive ramble. Uh, I'm not going to check out the other video because, quite frankly, this video is long enough. Let me know what you think. Given that, and I really feel this, um, apart from Finland, maybe Portugal a little bit, and the Czech Republic, whose national final uh, was ages ago now, a lot of countries really aren't bringing the goods. Uh, of course, tomorrow... Melfest. The snippets of the songs in Heat 1 are out, so there'll no doubt be a video from me regarding that. But, yeah, I think the quality really needs to come thick and fast, because at the moment it's just not there. I don't know what it is, um, maybe I'm the only person who feels this way, but I think this time last year, perhaps, I can't quite remember, there were a lot of really good songs already in existence, shall we say. I mean, we had Voila this time last year. We've heard absolutely nada from France at this moment in time. I don't know what's happening there. Anyway, enough now, because my voice is irritating me. So, mm, let me know what you think, especially if you're Italian. Thank you so much for the support on the channel recently, including my last Sanremo-related video. There's so much happening over the next couple of weeks, it's unbelievable. Um, I don't really watch national finals live at all. I just watch performances as and when. Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Norway, North Macedonia, uh, Ireland, uh, more Polish stuff, Australia stuff. It's all kicking off. And I will try and stay afloat of it and uh, give you my thoughts in future videos. Until next time, hopefully the quality wasn't too bad. Let me know. Who is winning San Remo and representing Italy in Turin a few months from now? I'm very interested to know. Check out my other social media pages in the description if you so wish. Until next time, bye for now. Ciao.